I got my microphone on my glass because I couldn't put it right here. It looked really awkward. So, yeah. So, I did another build, but it's not finished. Nowhere near. I'm probably going to break the game before I finish. So before I do that, I wanted to show you guys my three proudest moments with <laughs> three carousels. Because why just make one? Once you already know how to make one, make three at least. I might make another. There could be another one in the future. Maybe I can put one outside. These are inside. These are indoor carousels. And one of them is a double carousel and then the other two are not. Two of them, I'm gonna kind of show you how I did it. Not the full thing, because we'd be here for hours. Oh, I've wasted so much time on this. But this is a lot less messy than Legos. You don't really have to put it away at the end of the night. This is my version of Legos. I didn't use any mods, but I did use command prompts. So the double carousel was the easiest out of the three. And that one I don't have a tutorial on. And these aren't like full tutorials. You'll kind of get the gist of it as you're watching this. So let's, let's begin. All right, so we're slowly entering the hall of the Lollipop King. And as you can see, there's a double carousel because someone out there already had a one level carousel using mods. Please. All the stuff you need is already there. You might need a couple DLCs to get some of these things, but you don't have to mod it. I'm, d I'm afraid to use mods because I don't want to ruin my game. I heard it could. And I just don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. I've spent so much time on this. Like, I, I can't. Here's my other. This is my very first attempt at a carousel. This is not how I intended it to look. It just wound up looking like this eventually. So I got these three cars on there from a DLC. The rocket's from a DLC. I think it's from like that Nuka Cola World one. So there's already a theme park, but it's so far away. I wanted something a little bit closer to home. Yeah, so just walk up these stairs and then jump into the cars. So how I built this is a lot of, a lot of rug glitching. So rug glitching is when you take this floor mat, just this little rug. I think it works with any rug, but I like to use a specific one. And then you just kind of put one down, put one on top of it, put your item that you want on it, and then you can move the rugs and it moves the item at the same time so as long as you can place the rug somewhere your item will just stay on it see Three seconds. Am I on? I'm on. All right, editing me here. Hi, can you figure out where I'm building? If you know where I'm building, comment down below. And in the video, I totally forgot to put, like I did my eye makeup, but I forgot to do cover up. Oh well, I'm a 38 year old lady and sometimes I forget. I wanted this little ring at the bottom and it's supposed to make it look like these cars rotate around on it, but they don't. They don't, they don't do anything. So this was, this was just a ton of rug glitching and repositioning of floors and stairs. And as you can see, I was working with a lot of rock 
This whole thing is kind of built on this hill. It's very rocky. So, a lot of boulders to get through to be able to place this. And then I had to keep going back and forth and up and down the stairs and repositioning the floors and rungs to try and get these things into place. And if you're wondering what these things are I'm trying to position, it's the beta wave emitter. It's in cages. So if you go under cage, and you have to have a bunch of perks to even be able to get this item. So it what it does is it makes the the violent animals that you capture in giant cages docile. Yep. So the children are safe. very safe. Got three of these in here and they're really pretty. So right now I turn the power off to them. I disconnected them. But in order to position them and move them around, I do have to have them connected to power most of the time except like in this situation right here where that was not true. But there's another carousel that I use these on. Yes, they, they had to be on while I was moving them around. I found out the hard way. So here I got lucky that I was able to still power them up after disconnecting them. Because I was not so lucky on my last carousel. So then to get the cars up there, I think I ripped some hair out. I was just so freaking frustrated because sometimes when you take the rug back, everything just drops to the floor or it drops through the floor. In this case, it was dropping to, to the floor and I wanted the car on top of the beta wave emitter. I just wanted it sitting on top of there. So I played around with rugs, stairs, floors, and I tried to position that car perfectly over that it's not perfect. The spacing's still a little bit off, but whatever, whatever. So I got it up there, and then I took away the stairs, and I took it, see? That just went right to the floor. So I screamed a little bit, cried inside. Oh, I tried again, and again, and again. I think eventually what happened is I positioned the car over the rug where, in a way where you could barely see the rug, and I just left it there. I was like, oh, we're just going to leave it there. So I think, I think all the cars are actually sitting on top of little gray rugs, black rugs. So they're dark. But yeah, it was a lot of this kind of action, just going back and forth and just inching it into place and making sure it's all where I want it to be. And then trying to take things away. So I'm past the build limit. So what I do is I... I select an item I want, like here I wanted a trader store, Emporium, that's not right for the Emporium, and I traded this tiny little floor piece for a general store. Yep. Most of this building is made out of giddy up buttercups, chess boards, nuclear material. Yeah. See, it worked. Now the car is floating. I turn, what did I turn? The stairs into a weapons shop. Yup. That's how you get past the build limit. That's why I need a command prompt, because you can just drop things and trade them for an item that you need. Perfect. Hi, editing me here at 12.42 a.m. You don't actually need command prompts, that's baloney. All you need to do is have a bunch of items, you drop them, and then you go into build mode, and you just trade them in for whatever you need. So here it is, a finished product. Ta-da! Yay! Carousel no one can use. So here's the stairs to go up 
to it, watch your step. It's not very safe, but this world isn't very safe, so whatever. And now we're gonna run upstairs. I don't wanna I don't wanna give away too much of my build. It's mostly not done. Oh, modern kitchen. And this is my final carousel. And this one's kinda neat because you can actually people will sit on it. My companion usually sits on it while I dilly dally and do other things. So there's those bunch of those beta wave emitters. It was quite a burden trying to get them in there and position them fairly evenly. But at least this carousel is, well, you can sit on it. And everything is powered by this giant thing. And I'm learning how to use conduits. There's a master switch. Yeah, everything, it's that little cable. The whole city is powered by that tiny cable. There's a master switch. I can turn off the lights to the whole building right there. So here I am using conduits. So those beta wave emitters are connected to that thing up above the ice cream cone head. The ice cream. Up above the ice cream. And these, I, I didn't have to, there was no rock here. I just created this little subfloor and place them there. It was a lot easier than working around rocks. This is the easiest way to do it. I'll just create this little subfloor underneath the little crawl space. So here's me rug glitching the chairs in. And and that's pretty much it. You can see some giddy up buttercups over there in the background on the floor. Many, many have been sacrificed for this build. And many more will be sacrificed to come. So oh, I'm hoping hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping that this place will be finished by Christmas of 2021. Or maybe we'll have Christmas in July. I don't know, but I, I, if you missed it, the whole place is Christmas themed and there's a Christmas tree in every window. Because why not? All right, I'm done here. <laughs> Bye!